the Lewis structure for gold one sulfide has gold, a metal, bonded to sulfur, a non-metal. I know gold's a metal because it comes from the right hand, I mean left hand side of this staircase. Sulfur is a non-metal, and I know that because it comes from the right hand side of the staircase. That's important because metals and non-metals make ionic compounds together, and those form by a transfer of electrons. Now, what's the charge on gold here? I ask that because the transition metals, anything in this block here, can usually have more than one charge. Gold, in fact, can have a charge of either one or three to be stable. What's the charge on gold here? Well, in the name, it says one, so that makes that obvious. But if you were given the formula, you'll have to know that sulfur is two electrons short of being a noble gas, and therefore, it likes having a charge of minus two. In fact, when you crisscross the charges, that two here came from that charge, and so the charge on gold had to have been positive one. That way, you need two of them to cancel with the minus two charge of sulfur. So, let's agree that the charge on gold here is one. Draw yourself on gold atom with one valence electron. Sulfur, on the other hand, it's in group 16, so it brings six valence electrons with it. I'm going to draw myself the S. One, two, three, four, five, six valence electrons. And I know that nonmetals want a complete octet of eight electrons to be stable. Where can sulfur get two more electrons? Well, gold can give it one. Where is it going to get another one? The answer is from another gold atom, which brings its one valence electron. There we go. Now sulfur has a complete shell of eight. To draw the final Lewis structure, because I've just drawn here the transfer, I'm going to draw my sulfur with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons. That's six plus the extra two that it stole from golds. And because it's two extra electrons, I'm going to draw the minus two charge there. Then you have two gold atoms that gave up one electron each. So give it a charge of plus one and draw two of them because you needed two golds to contribute their electrons. This is the completed Lewis structure for gold one sulfide. Thank you for trusting me with your education, and best of luck.